All these teachers that I'm following on YouTube and Instagram have been raving about Bullseye's Playground and I knew I had to stop in the last week or two. I've been begging Ian to take me there and he's working of course and I'm like no I want to go like please take me but today after working out I decided to take myself and it, I mean it's not like he has to always come with me but I mean he is always with me. <laughs> I wanted to do a Target haul for you because I got all of my items under $30. The items that I got today range from a dollar to $10. Now Target used to have a dollar spot which changed to Bullseye's Playground because not everything in the Target dollar spot was worth a dollar. That's why they've changed their name to Bullseye's Playground because their prices are increasing, which isn't that bad. I still think um, in today's society like $10 is still pretty cheap. but to some people and the things that were in Bullseye's Playground for teachers that were $10 are completely worth it. So if you're a teacher or you're just starting out, you need to take a trip to Bullseye's Playground at Target. Okay, so just like I was explaining that things are worth $10, the first item that I'm going to show for you today is a tabletop art easel. Now this is the only $10 item that I got. So it looks like this. Um, it does have a whiteboard on one side and a chalkboard on the other and I love that this is a tabletop. It's not one of the big easels. This is something that can sit right on a table. I look forward to using this for quotes of the day or welcome messages, morning messages, but also challenges. I want to be able to challenge my students, especially during reading and math. So I can write our reading challenges on one side and our math challenges on the other. Those are my initial thoughts, but who knows? My thoughts change every day that I can use this um, differently come September when we start school. My classroom colors are green and blue, so when I saw these wire bins, I knew that I had to get them, especially when they come in this lime green color. These were each a dollar, and they don't look big enough to hold a number two pencil, um, which I was kind of disappointed about. I wish these were a little bit longer to hold pencils in. Uh, so I thought to myself, what could I use these for? I knew I had to have them. I always have to justify why I need something, and I figured I could use them um, for bigger note cards or some sort of station. I continued to walk around Bullseye's Playground, and I was able to find a station that I could keep in those wire bins. I found matching money puzzles and I also found time puzzles. Now with me teaching second grade I have to think more along the lines of the second grade content standards and I do know that we talk about time and money in the second grade standards. So and if not, if I'm completely wrong, <laughs> I mean, you can totally let me have it in the, in the comment section, but I know after going into my friend's second grade's classrooms, um, they had money and time on their walls and they would tell me they were studying these things and at least I can make them into a station. So that's kind of my idea. So I picked up four of these and then I also picked up some alphabet cards and opposite cards. I feel like second grade is the grade that you don't necessarily have to teach what an opposite is, but they still need some sort of review on a representation of an opposite. Also, I think my lower level learners may benefit from this. This may seem too preschooly, but for ELL students that may need that extra oomph, I mean, it's just a small station. And if I don't end up using these, I can always pass them next door to the pre-K classrooms. In our school, we have to do calendar math each morning. And in calendar math, we have to tell time. Going along with the station that I pulled, I wanted my students to have a real clock in front of them during calendar math time. Right now, they have to draw the second hand and the hour hand. And to me, it's just not a good representation of a real clock. Now, I know that students may have to draw the time on a worksheet or something, um, but really when you're looking at a clock, that's all you're doing. You're not changing the time. You just have to tell us what it represents, if that makes sense. So in the Bullseye's Playground, there was a clock for $3. This is a chalkboard clock, and I don't plan on using this actual piece of chalk. I plan on using a chalkboard marker, and I want to put this on my calendar math wall. I think this is a better representation and can help the students really um, determine what time it is rather than me writing it. <laughs> the last thing I got was not from Bullseye's Playground, however it was included in my purchase and it was around $3. A magnetic eraser. I cannot tell you how 
amazing these things are to just sit on the wall and I love being able to put them higher on the whiteboard so that my students can't take them or like just fiddle with them basically and mess with them while they're in line because everyone's chalkboards are usually up by their door and you line up by the door. So that's why I bought this magnetic eraser and again it was only three dollars. So the items that I bought today again were all under thirty dollars. If you're a teacher or a new teacher going into teaching, I hope that you visit the Bullseyes Playground because you can always find some sort of teaching materials for a great price. I do recommend saving your receipts because if you purchase something that you end up not using in the beginning of the year, you're probably not going to use it throughout the year and I suggest just returning it. I am somebody that spends way too much money on my classroom and I should be returning the items that I do not use, but somehow I become a hoarder and I always think that there's some reason for me to keep it. If you're a new teacher, I would suggest getting in the habit now of saving your receipts and returning the items that you do not use because in the end you will save so much more money. If you like this video and want to see more haul videos, click the thumbs up down below. If you'd like to see more videos of me, just subscribe.